Number four, numbness. This is the fourth poem in the series of 24 in the Song Cycle Winter Rise, a music by Franz Schubert and poetry by Wilhelm Mueller. And this is my translation of number four, numbness. I trace and retrace, looking for some evidence of her, of us, in happier times. I bury my face in these fading memories, refusing to acknowledge this winter of my discontent, insisting that I can burn through this whore, this hoar frost, with enough sobbing, with enough hot tears. I need a memory, a living, breathing memory. When my spring arrives, will I still remember or even care about her? Right now I'm numb, frozen cold. But what will happen with the spring thaw? I think this is a great example of, of classic German romanticism in the fact that the environment is mirroring back the state of the soul. Uh, the, you can, I can just imagine in the, in the accompaniment and the, and the line, just the, the whirling winds and the snowy landscape around me, and it just reflects my own soul right back at me. It's just this really hardcore German romanticism, I think. Man, and I saw it as a backlash. I mean, he couldn't, he started to get introspective, started. Uh -huh. at least to figure out that he's feeling something right. in the one before and he couldn't handle it and he just throws himself right back into the anger. Mm -hmm. You know, right. it, it, it's, it's, it's a little early. Yeah, and, and, but in, in the text, he's, he's, um, I think he's allowing himself to relive things for the first time um, because he's talking about how he strolled through this um, green meadow back when there wasn't any snow with his love on his arm. And so he's slowly allowing himself to enjoy that bittersweet feeling one has when one remembers things that hurt. Mm, I think he still hates her guts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, but you know, yeah, sure, sure. I, I see your point, but but he is he is dwelling on it more. Okay, than... it's a longer piece than the others. <laughs> right. And, and but but he does ask the question in the in the in the second verse he, he asks the question, um, you know, who's going to tell me about her uh if my pain goes away? So that I don't know. I, I still think there's a little bit of narcissistic, oh, this, this hurts so good. I agree. Totally agree. Yeah. yeah. Totally agree with that. Right, right. And I, this is a, a personally an interesting song for me because this is one of the songs that I've done a number of times in my life because it's, it's very difficult uh, technically, vocally. I mean, because it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's... God, it just doesn't let up. It doesn't let up. And, it, you know... It, and the tessitura is it's not that high necessarily but it's just it's just, it's really dramatic and and it can sound shouty and and so on and so forth but um i performed this uh for my uh reife prüfung at the at the conservatory in germany way back in 87 or whatever and i remember just being a bitch back then and I, I'm, I'm you know from a vocal point of view i'm just kind of pleased with myself that's not a bitch anymore yeah, well, it's, I mean... <laughs> it, it is a bitch, but at least I'm on top of my day. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, and it, it, I mean, it comes off. It's, it's, this is what I was saying in our, I think, the intro. You know, it's so nice when we can just become conduits because we've honed right. our technique to be able to handle shit like this. This exactly. is really hard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, the whole But it doesn't cycle. sound hard when you, when you see it or when, when you see us or when mm -hmm. you hear this. All you can think of is, oh my God, that's a shitload of pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're not thinking about, oh God, that's that must be difficult to play or to sing. Right, right. Which is, and, and I can remember when we first went through the cycle, the whole cycle, and and uh, and it was a milestone. It was really, oh my God. It, it was it was amazing to have climbed that mountain. And I think the next rehearsal, that I mean, the, I'm talking about the this. The second. So basically, what happened is we did Winterreise together with another accompanist. So two accompanists and myself, and that had its own challenges, which may or may not come out through these podcasts. But 
Um, so, and then the following year, so last year, uh, Maria and I performed uh, Winterreise together, just the two of us. And so that first time that we ran the entire Winterreise was just so huge, so huge. And then we, we I think a couple <laughs> we of days had this later, brilliant idea. Let's run it two times in a row for endurance <laughs> and we did it we did that one time oh, it was God. like it was like yeah we fucking did it but uh i, I think don't it think took we, me a week to recover yeah i don't think we need to do that yeah again. i don't think so no yeah but it's it's really great to be at, at the point with the cycle where you know obviously it's it's taxing but but there's still plenty left yeah after the cycle's over with it's not it's not a struggle to get through the cycle and and, and you know just from a purely from a singer's egotistical point of view, that feels pretty damn good. Well, and, and not only is it, uh, it's not just even the technique. It's, you know, you can't practice, you can't rehearse the entire cycle at sotto voce or at um, rehearsal tempi or rehearsal right. emotion. You know, you've got to go, because uh, one of the things you're, you're practicing is the emotional content Absolutely. and how much you have to put out mm -hmm. for this thing. And that's the killer in this piece. The killer in this piece is the emotional. Um, yeah, you you can't back off. From yeah, it. yeah. There's no way. I mean, no. there's just no way to back off. There's no section of the piece where I mean, obviously Schubert's very intelligent at how he writes and the way he. The pacing's you know, brilliant. The pacing's brilliant. brilliant. So there, you know, there are vocal things. That, yeah. You know, and pianistic things. I'm sure that you can do where you can back off where you've pushed. And emotionally. A certain, and, yeah. And emotionally, but yeah. yeah, emotionally, but you can never check out. Right. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. 